First of all, I offer my sister and granddaughter to Spanjali. My heart like flowers thousands of times. At the lotus feet of my holy master, Asmadev Parvaraj, my Guru Parvati, Nitilila Pravishn, Omnish Bhavish, Otras Tapasi, Rupa Anuga Charivar, Shila Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Goswami. I offer my pranam thousands of times at the lotus feet of my Parthi Guru Dev, to Srila Prabhupada and all of our Sri Rupa Nuga Gaudiya Guru Parampara. And finally, I offer my pranam to Param Pujapad Sri Bhaktaranta Madhav Maharaj and all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. By the causes myself, Sri Guru and Goranga, today we are honoring the divine appearance day of Sri Gadada Pandit. Sri Gadada Pandit. Ki In this culture, Prajanda Nandan Shavasundar, Radhabhava Yuti Svalatam Nomi Krishna Sripam, appeared in this world to fulfill the three desires that were unfulfilled in the Nikunjas of Vrindavan and to propagate the Anapita Chirim Chirat Prem to distribute that love that was never distributed before in this day of Lord Brahma. Mm -hmm. So at that time when Sri Krishna had appeared in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, so Brishwabhanu Nandini mm -hmm. has descended in the form of Gadara Pandit to assist Sri Krishna in fulfilling those three desires that were not fulfilled <coughs> in Brajavila. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in 1486 and the next year, he's about a year younger than Mahaprabhu, Sri Gadara Pandit appeared in the village of Baletigram in the district of Chittagong, which is now modern day Bangladesh. And when he was about 12 years old, his family uh, moved from there to Navadi. Uh -huh. So at that time, Gadada Pandit used to go to school with Nimai Pandit. But the thing is this, when Gadada Pandit, when he was a young boy, and he saw Nimai Pandit coming, he would cross the street. Why? Because from the beginning of his life, Gadada Pandit was completely absorbed in chanting the holy names, serving Radha and Krishna, all the animals of Bhakti. But Nimai Pandit, he was losing his time in Navya Nyay, in logic and quarreling with others. So Gadada Pandit, he used to think, oh, Nimai will come, he will waste so much of my time uh, in quarreling, analyzing things. But this is just like the beating the empty husk of rice. Hard work and no fruit at all. But Gadada Pandit and all the devotees there in Navadha at that time, Shivas Thakur, Mukunda and others, they used to pray, Oh Krishna, Please be merciful to Nimai Pandit that he should become a Vaishnava. <laughs> <laughs> and so it happened that when Nimai Pandit went to Gaya, there he met with Srila Ishwar Puripad. Mm -hmm. Oh, now my visit to the holy place has become successful the moment I saw your lotus feet. And he accepted Sila Ishwara Puripat as his Gurudev and received Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and Gopal Mantra. And very soon, when Mahaprabhu was returning from Gaya, when he came to Kanai Natsala, he was remembering the mantra given by his Gurudev. And he had the darshan of Krishna and became overwhelmed with praying. Kiba Mantra Dili Gosai, Kiba Tarpa. Japite, Japite, Mantra Kaile Paga. He brought his Gurudev and said, Oh Gurudev, what kind of mantra did you give me? What kind of strength is in this? I was chanting it and now I've become completely mad. Sometimes crying, sometimes rolling on the ground, sometimes laughing and running here and there, sometimes dancing. So Ishwar Puripad said, Oh, you are very fortunate. I am fortunate also to have a disciple like you. Don't worry, this is the nature of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Krishna Nama Maha Mantra Eito Subhav Jai Japi Krishna Upa Jai Ubhav If someone will chant, repeat the names of Krishna, then the Bhav will rise up in his heart. It's the Subhav of Maha Mantra. So 
So then Mahaprabhu he returned back to Navadip Dham. And he, when he arrived, he told the devotees, meet me tomorrow morning in the house of uh, Shuklamba Brahmachari. So all the devotees came there and they were waiting for Nimai Pandit because they'd heard some news. What's the news? Nimai became a Vaishnava. Oh. Can you believe it? So they're all waiting to see how is he? They're waiting, waiting. Gradually Nimai Pandit came there and when he saw the Vaishnavas with their tila <coughs> and with their Kantimala, then he became overwhelmed with prayer and he was weeping and fell to the ground unconscious. The devotees did kirtan and when Nimai Pandit came back to external sense, he could hear that nearby in a room someone was crying. And he asked, where is my Gadada? And then Nimai Pandit went into that room and Gadada Pandit was sitting with his face in his hands like the weeping. Oh, he was so happy. Nimai Pandit has become a Vaishnava. <laughs> Nimai Pandit said, O oh Gadaka, you are so fortunate. <coughs> From the beginning of your life, you were always serving Krishna, but I had wasted my time. Hmm? But now, I saw Krishna for a moment and he has disappeared. I am a great offender. Please help me. Where can I find Krishna? Where can I find Krishna? So Gadaka Pandit said, Oh, be patient. Krishna is coming just now. And he was very expert at pacifying the separation of Mahaprabhu. Once Mahaprabhu said, where is Krishna? Gadara Pandit said, in your heart. And then Mahaprabhu went to tear open his chest to find Krishna. Hmm. But Gadara held his hands and said, be patient, Krishna's coming. Sachimata overheard and she thought, oh, this Gadara, he's very expert. He knows how to respond to the moods of my son. And so Sachimata took the hand of Gadara and uh, begged him. You please always stay with my Nimai. Mm -hmm. So when after Mahapu took sannyas and he went to Jagannath Puri, <coughs> the devotees from Bengal, they used to come. But Mahapu used to send them, now go back to Bengal. Mm -hmm. Nityan would go preach. He would send them, you go to Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. So Gadada Pandit, to fulfill the desire of Sachimata, always stay with my son. He did a trick. Mm -hmm. When he was in Jagannath Puri, Gadada Pandit took Ketra sannyas, the vow to never leave the dark. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could not send him back to Bengal because it would be against his dharma to break the vow. So in this way, Gadada Pandit was staying in Puri. After some time, Mahaprabhu, he set out to Vrindavan. The first time he failed. He only went so far and he came back again. <coughs> so there's a reason for this. Why is it that the first time Mahaprabhu he, got to, he went to Navadvip, he went to Kananatsa, he went to Ram Kelly, he met with Rupa and Sanatan. But he turned round and he came back. Mahaprabhu himself revealed the reason. There's a story. When Mahaprabhu was leaving Puri, some devotees, Ramananda Rai, Sava Bhattacharya, they followed him. And at that time, Gadada Pandit also followed him. And he followed him, not only uh, out of the town of Jagannath Puri, out of Chiketra even. And he followed him and when Mahapu came to a river uh, further in the north of Orissa, then Mahapu turned to Gadara Pandit and said, All right, I didn't say anything, but now you have proven that you can transgress all the boundaries hmm, of the Dharma for out of love for me. You see, he made a promise. I will not step out of the Dharma. But for of attachment, love for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he had broke his own vow. Mahaprabhu said, mm, told him, why don't you go back and serve the uh, Tote Gopinath? Gopinath did. He said, oh, if I only see you for a moment, that's more than millions of services to Gopinath. He said, why don't you go back? Because you have taken said Ketra Sanyas. He said, what is the use of my Ketra Sanyas if I cannot serve you? Then Mahaprabhu said to him, you want to come with me? Is that for my happiness or for your happiness? And then Gadada Pandit was struck down. Mm -hmm. He could not give an answer. Mm -hmm. huh? Because praying love has one mariyada. That mariyada is Anyabilasita Shunyam Gyanakamaktinavritam Anukulyena Krishna Anushinam Bhakti Uttama. Love 
and <coughs> can transgress all boundaries. All boundaries can be transgressed for love. But love itself has a mariada, and that is that it acts only for the happiness of the object of love, never for one's own happiness. So Mahaprabhu said, it is my desire that I should continue to Vrindavan alone. So then Mahaprabhu got into a boat, and as the boat was crossing, Gadara Pandit just fainted and fell to the ground. Ramananda Rai and Sarvam Bhattacharya, they took care of him and brought him back to Puri. So how Gadara Pandit so deeply, deeply attached to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when Mahaprabhu was traveling, that time he did not arrive in Vrindavan, but he came back earlier. And he came to Gadara Pandit. He said, because when I was leaving, I gave some pain to your heart. This is why my yatra was not successful. Very, very beautiful exchange of love between Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Gadara Pandit. So as you know, Gadara Pandit was uh, serving Gopinath. But how did this Gopinath appear? It's very, very interesting. You see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. And he's trying to experience with Radha Bhav. So every night in the Gambira, he meets with Ramananda Rai, Vishaka, and Sarab Damada, Lalita Sakhi. And Lalita and Vishaka are there. And Mahaprabhu is playing the role of Radhika herself, feeling separation from Krishna and being pacified by her Sakhis. But in the daytime, Mahaprabhu used to go to Yameshwara Tot, where, uh, see, Gadada Pandit was staying. And Gadara Pandit used to recite Srimad Bhagavatam to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So during the day, Mahaprabhu is like a student. He's a student and he's studying about Radha Bhav from Radha herself. <laughs> and taking shelter of the Supreme Praman of uh, the Prem, of Braja Prem and Radha, Radha Prem, that is Grantaraj Srimad Bhagavatam. This is very important. You see, in Krishna Lila, Radharani cannot tell Krishna about the glory of her own love. Because it's the nature of love, it's like a candle. It shines within the heart. And it, that light, like a candle in a cottage, the light shines from the windows. So the candle of love burning in the heart shines out through the eyes. But it should not be, the door should not be opened. It should not be spoken of. Because if someone will speak and open their mouth, then the wind of pride may come and blow it out. So, Prem is not spoken directly. So, Radhika could never explain about her love to Krishna. But, now in Gora Lila, Radhika is in Gadada Pandit, and on the pretext of giving Srimad Bhagavatam class, she's not telling her love. She's giving class on Srimad Bhagavatam. Yate Sujata Charanam Buruham Stanesha. Describing the verses of Rasalila of Gopi Geet, Chamaapur Mahapur's hearing. So, in the daytime, he's a student. And at night, in the Gambira, there he's doing his homework. Practicing what he had learned from Radharani, what he had learned from Gadara Pandit during the day, he's playing that role on the stage of the Gambira. Sometimes people ask, Gadara Pandit is so intimate to Mahapu, why he wasn't in the Gambira? Why only Swarabdhamada and Rai Ramananda? So Srila Gurudev used to say that the Gambira is like a stage and Krishna is playing the role of Radha. But Radha herself is like the director of that drama. The director of the drama never appears on the stage. <laughs> the director can be in the wings. He can direct. And when the drama is going on, the director can be in the wings. And from a distance can watch. And then give some correction for the next performance. So, Tota Gopinath, uh, that is Yameshwar Tota is like the wings. And uh, Gambiri is like the stage. And Krishna is playing the drama of Radharani's love in the Gambira. <clears throat> so one day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Yameshwar Tot and he was hearing from Gadara Pandit, Srimad Bhagavatam. And he became overwhelmed with prayer. Bhumira upari nij naki bhumi like ashuganga netre bahe ke chivina deke. And just as Radhika in separation used to write in the sand with her finger. And her eyes were flowing like Ganges of tears and could not see anything. Mahapu was in that mood and he was moving the sand and his hand touched something and then he began to move and move and there he discovered the deity of Gopinath. He went to Godana Pandit and said, 
I want to give you something. Will you accept? Gadadar Pandi said, surely I must accept if you will give me. Then Mahaprabhu said, come with me. And took the hand of Gadadar Pandi and gave to the Gopina. Oh, I want to give you my heart. This is my heart. So what is that? Krishna was studying in the university of Radha. That is, Mahaprabhu is studying in the university of Gadada Pandit. And after many years of studying, now he has to submit his thesis. What he has learned, what he has realized. So because Krishna came to realize the beauty and the sweetness of Sri Krishna, so now, by the help of Radhika, he realized the beauty of Krishna. And that vision of Krishna that he had in his heart manifested outwardly. That is Vigraha. The deity is not stone. The deity is the Ishtadev of a pure Vaishnava who was manifested outwardly so that others may see and others may serve that deity. So, Toto Gopinath was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's thesis and he submitted his thesis to his professor and then Gadada Pandit was very close. And from then on, Gadada Pandit was serving Gopinath. But you see, Gopinath is not standing. Usually Krishna is like this. But Gopinath is sitting down. Why? Because when Krishna disappeared from Rasavila and all Braj Gopis were crying, then when Radhika said, Yate Sujata Charnam Buruham Staneshu, Vitasha Naipya the Diva Hikaka Sheshu, Te Nata Vimata Sitanya the Te Nakimsu, Kurupadi Bi Pramati Bi Babadai. O Krishna, when I hold your soft to lotus feet on my heart, I place them there, there very, very gently because I feel that you may feel inconvenience. But now you're wandering in the hot stones in the forest. My mind becomes bewildered. So if I cannot serve you, then there's no need to live. So whatever remainder is left of my life, my ayu, my lifespan, I am giving up my life now, and what's left I give, donate to you, and you can live happily in Vrindavan. And so Radhika was about to die. Hearing this, Krishna suddenly appeared. There. And at that time, Radhika was standing at a distance and she was quite um, upset with Krishna. She was in man and shooting arrows of her glance towards Krishna. So the Sakis of Radhika, they thought, oh, Krishna should come and sit down and have a conversation with Radhika and he should apologize for his disappearing and putting all Braj Gopis in pain. So Braj Gopis, they took their anchals and they placed them on the ground. One, two, three, so many of the anchals of the Gopis and made a beautiful asana. Shukadev Goswami said, Tadarshana lada vidutta vritur jo manor tam tam sutayo yaya yuhu so utriya kuch kumkumankita akripripan asana ma atma bandave those gopis put down their cloth which was smeared with the kumkum from their bodies and they invited Atma Bandave, the friend of their heart, to take their seat there. And when they saw Krishna sitting there, Tadashna Lada Viduta Rijujo, all their pain went away and they felt so much bliss. They felt their life was successful. How? Manora Tantam Shutayo Yata Yayu. Just as the Vedas personified were satisfied. Uh, in the previous age. Because what happens when the Vedas personified see the Ras Lila, they think, oh, I want to serve Krishna like that. And then in the next day of Lord Brahma, the Vedas personified become those gopis who take their anchals and put their anchals on the ground and let Krishna sit there. <laughs> so man Manora Tam Tam, if someone wonders, what's the goal of the Vedas? What's the purpose of the Vedas? What do we want to attain by following the Vedas? So here Shukadev Goswami is saying, the Vedas themselves, Manoratantam, the Vedas personified, who fulfill everyone's desires, their desires were fully satisfied when they made an asana for Krishna to sit next to Srimati Radhika. That is the goal of the Vedas. Radha Dasyam, the service of Radhika's lotus feet. So because Krishna sat down then on those anchals, so this form of Tota Gopinath is that very form of Krishna who has come to apologize to Radhika for disappearing from Rasadhyu. Mm -hmm. So we're most fortunate on this day to hear about the glories of Gadada Pandit, always very meek, always very humble, Trinada Pi Suni Chena, and very dear to our Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Gadada Pandit Ki! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>